And we're live, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to AI Dungeon Crawlers. Today Yarr. is Friday, May 7th, 2020. And boy, howdy, we have an adventure for you today. A swashbuckling pirate Hi, Jack, adventure. Jack, it be 2021. You said 2020, you landlubber. <laughs> I, I am physically distraught. Get it together, I have Jack. overcome Get it together. grief. This May is a eight. professional operation. Oh Jack God, has never, never once gotten it the date right. If it's you're being May distraught, eight. you better be trot real soon. I, I am distraught. <laughs> Take right it again. There. Take All it right. again. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's May 7th or May 8th if you're in the UK, 2021. And welcome uh. to the dungeon where the five of us traverse the treacherous mind of a sinister AI programmed with the insights of 10,000 authors, throwing grizzled seamen at our every turn as we struggle to make the greatest swashbuckling pirate adventure since Johnny Depp got spit on by a giant teething sphincter. <laughs> I... Oh dear. There sphincter, be that's unpacking. the word of the day. <laughs> yeah, I got this calendar, it shows me the word of the day. Today, it'd be <laughs> sphincter. <laughs> Just a friendly reminder to everybody. Sorry, guys. I'm going to quickly shill. Uh, if you uh, link your Amazon Prime to Twitch, you unlock Twitch Prime. Gives you one free subscription to any channel on the platform per month. And we would love it if you used it here. We also have a tip jar down below if you feel so inclined. But if you really want to support the show, be sure to share it with friends and family. Follow us on Insgr Instagram. You see the uh, handle down below. As well as subscribe if you're currently watching on YouTube. We love you just as much. Thank you very much. It is a huge help. Um, friends, my name is Jack. I am your pianist and all-around angry band boy. More instruments than I have hands in front of me, and I'm joined by more friends than I have hands as well. <laughs> well, thank God for that. <laughs> Jesus, are you trying to be an octopus now? Uh, we'll get to that voice. Keep those suckers minute. to yourself, fella. Ah! <laughs> really embracing the theme. I love this. <laughs> This is great. All banter will be pirate and or octopus related from here on out. Um, Damn straight. <laughs> what about dance. octopus pirates? Uh, that man's voice is my good friend Jesse. Hey Jesse, how was your week? Yar, I be making mead. Twas me birthday this past week. That's true. Happy belated birthday. I be old now and tired. Wait. And full Jesse, of salt. <laughs> Hold on, Jesse. Are you? Are you wearing a sleep mask <laughs> sideways? Yeah, well, I didn't own an actual eye patch because I'm not. <laughs> spoiler alert: I'm not actually a pirate. Okay. Well, I, I was convinced for a. I'm using my acting skills to pretend to be one. I, I cannot believe oh. what a what a beautiful thing to have. Oh, he's an actor. Aha! Anything exciting you'd like to share from this past week, Jesse? Um, I turned 28, and I've been hungover ever since. Right, you just stated the same two facts you shared earlier. Yeah. A little bit, slightly altered detail. Well, I'm old now, so my memory is just kaput. <laughs> yeah, 28, that's the day when you just, like, shut things down, yep. right? Yeah. Jamie that's would know, aren't you, Jamie? You're 27. Exactly. Or are you feeling things shutting down on you? Oh, I feel things shut down on me all the time. It just depends on what time of the day it is. <laughs> oh, no. We'll, we'll unpack that in a minute. We're also joined by Eric. <laughs> oh, please, let's not unpack anything. I just want to keep everything sealed deep inside. You know what? My poop deck isn't what it used to be, okay? I'm old. Swap it out once in a while. Oh, oh God. I'm not going there. Eric, how was your week? Well, and that's why uh, it's not as what it used to be. <laughs> Well, it is what it used to be. It's just a little more wrinkly, that's all. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'll stop now. <laughs> We've got all night. <laughs> I mean, hey, I got nowhere to be. There's no story. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. We have no story. It's a, hey, guys. Right? Day, I guess. Well, it's yeah. just us dressed as pirates. Stream, a stream of pirates and sphincters all night. <laughs> yes, because I didn't have pirate gear. I'm the tourist for this evening. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> it's a beautiful hat. I, I, that's because I was taking a three-hour tour, if you understand what I'm saying. Oh, Jamie, why don't you introduce us? You yeah, introduce I, yourself. I, 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 what? <laughs> who are you, Jamie? Why are we introducing too ourselves? Let's, I no, no, no. I think Jack's doing a really good job. I'm enjoying it very much. I've got a Google Doc here with the order that the show usually runs in, but I feel like we've had enough Jamie that I just I need more Jamie. I need to understand who this person is. <laughs> you, you no, no. It's no, absolutely no, 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 impossible. No, 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 no. Too bad. Uh, this is. 
This, this is the man that planted blueberry bushes this morning. So if that tells you anything, I don't know. No, <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> it tells me what you did this morning. <laughs> it sure does. Jamie, it, it doesn't <laughs> tell me anything. It really doesn't. Who the hell are you? I don't know. I've told you over and over again. <laughs> Just remember, the last time we were together, I was about to put on a damn dress, okay? True. <laughs> Holy Christ, I feel like I'm an insignificant particle in the universe now. Are you okay? <laughs> no! Is this, a, is this a nervous breakdown? We were like five minutes to the show, and Jamie's like, yeah, I'm just I'm uh, deeply com. hurt inside, Jack. I feel, like, I feel like there's a lot of baggage between you, but with all the suckers and the, and the tentacles and Something the happened that even hurt. I don't remember. But again, sure baggage why. is something we shouldn't talk about now. Did you get drunk in already? You've had one <laughs> sip of beer. <laughs> It'd be strong, it's Grog. Got, it's, it's got nothing to do with being drunk, my friend. I don't know what it's got to do with, <laughs> but it's got nothing to do with being drunk. That's all. Jamie, I have a very important question for you. Yes, sir. Um, it's simple, it's to the point, and it's one that I feel like you could answer immediately and we'll learn a lot about you. And that is, uh, what is the single most important thing that has ever happened to you in your entire life, other than getting married? Well, number one, I'm not married. Oh. Oh. But my daughter would... <laughs> it's, it's right up there. Damn it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a guest actively try to sabotage this show. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> hey, I'm not actively trying to sabotage the show. I'm doing a really good job of it. He's your friend, Jack. He <laughs> no, <laughs> he's married. <laughs> he said his wife in the pre-show. I was like, oh, all right. He must be. Ah. <laughs> Jamie, do you want to run the rest of the show? Do you want to introduce but everybody while I'm uh, while I'm here? No, you see, because this is how it works. <laughs> I had you on my show, and I had to introduce you, so it's your turn now. You know, right. this is what this whole thing is about. Oh, oh, you know what I'm go. talking about here? It's a test. Oh, this Jack, whole thing control, is about. Take control, Jack. Take control. I get oh. you on my show. You get me on your show. I get Adam on my show. I, I go on to Adam's show. Soon it's going to be all of us sitting in a room talking to each other because we've got nothing else to do. Well, not, not, not in this day and age. Oh, no. it's nothing. So many things to do. <laughs> Friends, joining us, Jamie Johnson, host, co host, creator of the Streams of Variations podcast. And also, he was the Dave in a panto that I MD'd before the world fell apart. <laughs> he was going to wear a dress and he never did. And I'm kind of disappointed I didn't get to see that. Also, he's not married, in which case, he lied to me. He said his <laughs> wife, definitely not married, has a daughter, though. That's cool. Great. Learning a lot about Jamie. Good to have you with us, friend. <laughs> also, Quick reminder, his sphincter is wrinkly and he hasn't cleaned the poop deck, etc., etc. <laughs> lovely, good to have you with us. Let's gloss past all of that and move on to it, our lovely, incredible illustrator. His, his I, mind's I, like I'm, a steel trap. I'm, I'm grabbing this one by the reins. <laughs> I'm steering it where it needs to go. Noah, hey, buddy. Please give me some nice, relaxed energy for just a minute. Center me again. How are you? I'm trying. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. We broke Noah. <laughs> I just wasn't ready. I'm sorry I wasn't trying to break Noah. No, Jamie, it's it. quite alright. It's quite alright. You just really came in here with a lot of energy that I was not ready for. <laughs> We'd well, normally have guests who are like, oh yeah, yeah no, quite. Yeah, yes. yeah oh, like no, everyone's everyone's like wow. Yeah, never have we had a host that has been so energetic. More energetic than any other Did of I just get us. Yeah, our only host other host has show. been Jack. <laughs> <laughs> we be off to a great start today. An excellent start, my lord. All right, I be taking over. So, by the way, here thing. <laughs> Noah, 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 have you been working on any art? Let's. We got to get back to something oh. class in this. In this <laughs> anything nobody panic uh, I, I found mean, Jack sure. I mean uh, <laughs> thinking about the fact that we're technically on like an Amazon offshoot I mean can I, let's I'm gonna see if we can get some Amazon Prime in here Amazon oh. Prime TV uh, yeah. I watched recently I watched through invincible which I had read through the book it's fantastic how I are you liking it. it yeah oh I loved it so I was working on this Woo. oh 
Oh, hey, that's the guy from the show that you just mentioned. From Invincible. That's correct, you know. Jack. <laughs> I'm, try I'm, try I'm trying to be energetic. I'm trying, I'm trying to be a good my host. hardest right now to get like a, a, a Prime TV uh, sponsorship. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Prime TV, if you're watching. Yeah, Mr. Please. Prime TV himself. You heard it here, Primey. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, that's something that I was kind of playing around with today. It's uh, gorgeous. It's fun. Um, I know next week I'm going to be showing off what I did for my friend's birthday, uh, which will be a couple days. At, it'll be a couple days before the show itself, but I'm very proud of the piece, but I don't want to reveal it too early. Yeah, it's a birthday surprise. Yeah. Ooh, I love that you spoil the birthday surprise. No, he knows he's getting it, um, but he doesn't watch the show. Why <laughs> not? watch the show. Wow, come on. <laughs> Well, now well, you, now you can reveal it on the show and then get him to watch, Noah. Ah, yeah. that's how he that's how he gets to see it for the first time. I'm sure there are more convenient ways to give someone a gift than to show it to the rest of the world and assume that he'll eventually <laughs> catch up. I can't Someday. think of anything. That's how I do it, Jack. Every time. Yeah, it's true. You did give me my my go karting trip by showing me a video of you going go karting. <laughs> <laughs> I loved every minute of it, Jack. <laughs> Would have been a really nice memory to share, and we did in your living room on your couch. <laughs> I, when your your eyes lit up, <laughs> Jack. So my week's been okay, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's great to hear. But you know, Jack. Jack, I I was I was um in this time of lockdowns and, and nothing to do. I was rifling through my my cupboards, you know, and I found. A fresh bottle from before even the pandemic began of Kraken rum. Oh my God! Yeah, wow. and I thought there's nothing there's nothing more more thematic today than a Kraken rum. Yeah, that'd so be a I, shipwreck in a bottle right there. Yeah, oh. I've got my little booty shot glasses. Oh my God! And, oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how cool is that, right? So I thought it would be fun if we played a drinking game today. Ooh, so okay. could um, we? Uh, yeah, I I have. A a a water. I have I have Toronto tap water here. Oh my God! That'd yeah, be the hardest man. liquor of them all. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be the one that's gonna knock you on the floor for sure. I'll tell you. <laughs> Careful, Jack. Um. All right. What what do you propose are the rules? They gotta cut that down by adding rum into it. All right. Well, I I propose that we take a shot. We do a kicker right. every time. We have to uh re refresh the AI, and we're not <laughs> and we and, and we and we go back and we and we want to redo. I say we take a shot every time we get to 10 points and then we drink okay. in celebration or if we get to negative 10 points and then we drink in commiseration okay. <laughs> or I thought we could drink as well when um, the AI does something very piratey like uh, like have a thing every week that ties in with the theme. So Ooh, I propose okay. today that we do whenever we see a new ship. A new, a new a pirate new ship, ship on the horizon. Yeah, Excellent. or that we'd be going to Any plunder. ship or like a pirate ship? Just a ship? I think, I think any ship oh, is okay, good. So, Excellent. So that, that actually, I have a question about that. Um, Shoot. Does that include relationships? Were you sitting uh, on that joke for like 20 minutes? What? Hey. <laughs> Tells me you had that one oh, in your back pocket. You'd yeah. you be walking the comedy in. plank, lad. Yeah, no, that's fair. All right, I wasn't. <laughs> We'd be sawing the plank in half to get him off real quick. No one, like... no one, knowing you, whoever you ship together is gonna make me want to take a drink. So, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I think yeah, maybe. Noah. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks like everybody. David Hasselhoof, it's remember been, him? It's been great. <laughs> it's been great, everyone. But this is my last stream. Oh, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> no. We're I know I say that talent. every week, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Are we ready to just start I think, this? I think Are we we're diving ready, in? Jack. All right, give me Let's a minute. Let me let me right let me play you in with some epic piratey tunes. Ooh. Here we go. Ooh. Is this a sing along? Yeah, Later. if you know the words. Oh, okay. <laughs> if I know the words. All right, here we go. Dum -da -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. Are we just going, Jack? Are you leading us into the world? Oh, or are we... oh, go for it. <clears throat> Oob is a world where the endless archipelago of Oob is the only island chain left standing in a world destroyed by its gods. It is a world where civilizations have arisen and fallen through the ages, leaving behind them hordes of treasure and vast wealth. 
centuries of pirate treasure sit undisturbed in the depths of the sea, beckoned to anyone brave enough to seek it out. You are Flint, a male human pirate on the deep crab ship, the Starfish. You've spent months on the ship and have grown to love the briny deep. You spend your time exploring the massive ship and helping the crew prepare for the captain's return. A ghostly figure appears on the deck of the ship, a human woman garbed in pirate clothing from centuries past. She appears in the same spot every time she visits, upon the railing of the ship's upper deck, just behind the main mast. You're not afraid of ghosts, but her presence still unnerves you. She never speaks, she only stares, and that's what frightens you about her. She just, just stand there staring at you with a cold, blank expression. Her clothing is ragged, her black dress tattered and covered in spots with bird droppings. Her boots are scuffed and worn through. A tricorn hat sags across her head, its once red ribbon dangling in the wind. She stands at a height just under five feet tall, and she is bony and thin, but not unhealthily so. <laughs> That's good to know. Buxom enough, lass, if you, if you like them that <laughs> way. A striped scarf covers the lower half of her face, blowing in the wind. All right. I be approaching the ghost woman and oh. bid her speak. You approach the ghost woman and bid her speak. You say... Speak. Ah, uh, apt. Uh, well said. <laughs> well spoken. We're quite proud of you. The ghost woman turns her head towards you as you approach. She still says nothing. She continues to stare at you with that cold, blank expression. You look into her large green eyes and you see a world of pain, sorrow, and regret. You reach out your hand to touch her shoulder and she quickly turns away from you. She walks along the railing and descends down the steps toward the main decks. You are nice to the ghost. You gain two points. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on the way to the ghost. Right. ghost. Ghosts are just misunderstood beings, you know? Like... I feel like we learned a lot. No one else has referenced the ghost yet. I enjoy the fact that the ghost just is. Um, yeah. Did, uh, did we lose uh, The my... rest of the crew be on break. <laughs> did we did we lose my my pit cam? Did it just go away? I can't see yes. it. Yeah, it's like not logged into Zoom. Zo Fun. Zo oh man, guys. <laughs> now so Noah excited. Schaefer be straddling two different boxes on the stream. Oh goody. Pit cam oh, man. I I we we don't have enough soon. Amazon Primes for that one. <laughs> um you're pretty sure she wants you to follow her, but you're not qu quite sure where. No, I, uh, there's more before that. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> on the main dock, there is... The <laughs> Who deck. said that? Uh, uh, from uh, the uh, arrow, uh, dude. From uh, the arrow. Uh, from the arrow, from the arrow. You follow the ghost woman towards the main deck. On the main deck, there is a longboat waiting in case of an emergency. The woman walks to the middle of the longboat and, and turns around to face oh. you. She <laughs> stares at you with her cold, blank expression. You're pretty sure she wants you to follow her, but you're not quite sure where she's going to lead you. She walks down into the longboat and gestures for you to join her. Are you going to join her in the longboat? Narrator be asking me questions. <laughs> oh. Strange. Narrator has a personal relationship. These are the problems which pirates need to face daily, to get in the longboat or not. Wait, do we have longboats on this the ship? Question, yeah, the question is, what's a longboat doing on a pirate ship? That's my question. <laughs> a Viking longboat strapped to the side of the ship. We'd be oh, abandoning no. ship in style when we go. Oh, no. They refer to, lo they refer to the small rafts as longboats. Yeah, those I'll small boats are very long. Hilariously enough, yes. But yeah. no, it's, it's like, put them in the longboat tilly. Sober, sober, put them in the, them long in the longboat yeah, tilly. Sober. I You're right. know my okay. drunken sailor. Yeah, all right. You got me there. I didn't yeah. know the second verse to Drunken Sailor. <laughs> and he's too drunk to know the first verse either. So what's the point? Hey! Hey. 
I mean, in some variations, it's a car, it's not a verse. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, you sit uncomfortably on the deck. Shift uncomfortably, on, shit the deck. uncomfortably on the deck. I shit uncomfortably on the deck. There ain't a lot of fur or fiber on a ship like this. Stop. That's why they be calling it the poop deck. <laughs> and stop that. You shift uncomfortably on the deck. You consider your options. The captain will be back soon. You sit in the longboat with the ghost woman. The ghost woman pulls the tarp back over both of you and you sit there in silence. You can't see anything, but you are aware of everything that is happening. The wind is blowing against you and the sound of the waves hitting the side of the ship bounce around your head. You hear someone approaching and the ghost woman grabs your hand. There you are. A voice calls out to you. It's Lieutenant Handsome. Hey! Oh, there you are! <laughs> I can always tell when it's Lieutenant Handsome. Ah, uh, yes, I know the voice of Lieutenant, <laughs> Lieutenant Handsome. Thank you all very so much. Oh, I'm glad to be when here. When Jack rejoined with the pit cam, it threw off every single chat head I'm in the so stream. Sorry. And now also, this, this French horn it looks absolutely up. terrible. Oh, I. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a goddamn chat head? <laughs> I have to fix this somehow. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Yeah. Our oh, first no, we're making range. it worse. <laughs> oh. so, I think. Oh. I, I think we. I think we'd be missing our first point. I don't know if anyone in the. Um, yeah, but I don't understand why we're t we're not fighting. Well, first, what were we supposed first, to be fighting about? Oh, oh well, that, that's oh, Killbot. Oh, he oh, likes us oh, to fight. Oh, first, oh, I'm sorry. We did find a longboat. Yes. Oh. Yeah, uh, yes. Uh, uh, all right, uh, everybody, drink. All right, anyone in chat who's joining Ears. along, bottoms up. Ears. <laughs> uh, I will also cough. <laughs> I've got another one. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm a dandy narrator now. Oh. Excellent. Oh. I haven't had rum in a while. <laughs> I mean, I'd be worried if you had. It's sad to drink rum alone. <laughs> alone. I live alone. And it's the middle of... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I haven't had rum in about two and a half days. <laughs> uh, oh. Jack, did you see my Redeem? Redeem was a new character, a gramophone, playing Shiver Me Timbers, an album by Firesword during their pirate phase. Excellent. <laughs> um, let's have it be uh, Jack, the, the Jack, pirate well, board. Yes. Well, while we're while we're fixing cameras, yeah. why sh shall we shall we shall we play for the audience? Shivy, Shiver me timbers. Oh, a great it is a classic pirate rock sea tune. shanty. A rock sea shanty. <laughs> I who wishes to sing? All right, this silence is deafening. deafening. I will instead assign a person. Who uh, keeps it, doing that? <laughs> <laughs> I just Terror. fixed it, and now it's fuck after and up again. Let's go with, um, Eric, you provide the verse, and Jamie, I would like you to sing the chorus to the classic uh, Shiver Me Timbers. It's a sea shanty by a rock and roll group from the 1970s. From the 70s, oh. Yes. Or the 1670s. It's, it's hard to say for sure. <laughs> Are we ready to give this a go? Let's do it. Well, boys, we raise our swords and they flame high and we push forward going mightly. Then we find our foe and slay them, shiver me timbers and blow. And then we head back home with Grog. Hey! <laughs> and then you just repeat that about ten times. <laughs> Jamie, lead us into this very mentionable, uh, very memorable chorus that we all know incredibly well. A one, a two, a one, two, three. We sing of life because that's what we are. We sing of life because that's what we are. We are! We dance ourselves through the light of day and kick ourselves in the ass we pray. 
Ah, uh, it is a beautiful tomb. Shiver, yes, shiver me timbers. We pray. Yes, shiver me timbers. Thanks for that, that extra chorus there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, who can forget it? <laughs> Truly, thank you. I mean, a sea shanty, everybody knows, is all about the call and response. And that's why we now go into a speedy call and response section, whereby, uh, Jamie, you will give the call, and I, of course, will provide the response, as I know this song implicitly. So, <laughs> here we go. Shiver me timbers! And shove me aside! side! Uh, <laughs> raise the gym! Get drunk off our asses, anyways! <laughs> Hoist the sail! If you know what I mean. Thank you, everybody. Drop the anchor! Because we need to stop this damn thing. It's okay. Drop the anchor and the song. Boy, howdy. I have wow, can you believe they sold 10 whole copies? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I still can't. Um, is it just me or do I have a significant amount uh, more lag than I normally do between us? You've been I, dropping I, out and coming back in about six yeah. times, your pit camera. Arr, I've had to redo these cameras six times and I'm about to walk the plank. <laughs> If it drop out again, I make the executive decision that it stay in Davy Jones' locker. Let the show be over. <laughs> yeah, but if it's Davy Jones, that's a very small locker. I. Oh, that sorry, that was an older would. joke for you people out there that are of, the, of an older set. Oh, it's funny if you have to explain the joke, so carry on. Yeah. Oh, no, that's what I, I mean. Us, please, for us youngins. <laughs> Wait, you don't know who Davy Jones is? <laughs> you don't? Noah, do you know Davy Jones? Yeah, he, li oh, he, he lives on like Blue, right? Nah, he be singing <laughs> with the monkeys. <laughs> yes, he be singing with the monkeys. <laughs> yes, I know who Davy Jones is. I'm That's impressed. Him. I and I'm depressed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're about to be suppressed if we don't keep this going. <laughs> we have a show to do. Damn it. We go back. All so right, I be fixing the cam. I fixed the cameras. All right, all right, all right. Now I so, put my eye patch back on. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, we, we have just been we in. have just we have just met our first fellow pirate, Captain Handsome, and he calls out to us. There you are. Excellent. Well, a voice calls out to you. It's Lieutenant Handsome. Ah. <laughs> no, wait, your art is amazing. <laughs> I got to double check how to oh, spell. Oh, I was tabbed out. I need to hold on. Uh, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Tini. It's very hard to type when you only got one eye. Wow, Lieutenant Ansem has the strongest jawline <laughs> I've ever that seen. Is, that is a Step man. A oh handsome God. jawline. I mean, they, they put him on the proud of Ram of their Holy ships. Holy crap. <laughs> Look at that man. <laughs> wow, that is aerodynamic. <laughs> he cuts the wind. And look, you can use his eyes to like reflect the light and see at night. <laughs> yes, so actually, shy. he blinks to contact the <laughs> other ships. <laughs> look, when your name is literally handsome, it's difficult to do anything other. Than There's that. a reason for it. You stand at attention, and the pirates salute Lieutenant Handsome. You say, ah. "Pay no attention to the ghost, sir. What be your orders?" <laughs> Lieutenant Handsome narrows his eyes at you. Is that what this is? You're hiding a stowaway? No, sir, mm. this is my captain? <laughs> you I lie salute. to him huh? again and look You're... at the ghost woman to see, if, to see if she will help you. Instead, she puts her fingers to her lips. Lieutenant Handsome doesn't even blink. Pure kid. He doesn't need to, those baby blues. Where's your captain, then? You point over the side of the boat and say... VAR! <laughs> that is the most philosophical <laughs> argument for life that I've ever heard in form of VAR! VAR! Lieutenant Handsome raises an eyebrow and turns to look over the side of the boat. He leans over and peers into the water. Then a look of surprise comes over his face. He turns back to you and punches you as hard as he can in the Ow! face. You are said spitting into the bottom of the boat and you lose sight everything around you. Lose sight of everything around you. The next thing you know, you are waking up in a bed in a small room. I, uh, Suspicious and strange. I, I don't know what happened. 
uh, 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 you just could put LT space handsome. I know the AI will think that's his new name and change it to Larry uh-huh. T. Handsome or something. That's the uh-huh. LT handsome. That's actually, ten- <laughs> that is, hilariously enough, that is his actual name, Larry T. Handsome. Uh, you say. That'd be quite the left hook, Lieutenant Handsome had. Say that out loud. A Excellent. ghost woman appears. Ah, you view. again. <laughs> she looks. Like an older version of the captain. She spits on the side of your bed. And a strange sits. feeling. She spits? She's, she's, she sits. She sits. Boy, that Kraken's got you going there. You know what? Um, she sits on the side of the bed. And a strange feeling washes over you. Uh, I, that is it. Oh. Crept up behind me and... Snatch me out of the water like a baby seal. She smiles at you warmly. What happened? You ask. After Lieutenant Handsome punched you, he had us both thrown overboard to swim back to the island. Is, that Wait, is, so, is she a ghost woman? I have no idea anymore. Yeah. Or she... It's a mystery. You look I around need to the get room. Give me bearings. Is she a ghost, or is she a stowaway? It she be a ghost a stowaway. Game. Everyone needs to play at least once. You look around the room. A go away, if you will. <laughs> I will, thank you. you. Ah. That's what Lieutenant Handsome said to you. <laughs> the room you are in is small, barely big enough to fit the bed you are lying in. You stand up and see a small porthole window in one wall, looking out onto into the waters outside. There's a desk with a chair and an old cotton robe hanging from the back. You also see some shelves filled with various items. You open the drawers of the desk and find them empty. You open the door and find yourself in a short hallway. Wait, so so we're not locked up. We, we've been thrown overboard and found ourselves in a strange cell on an island with the ghost lady. That, Our, is that, is I that just a want ghost? to know what's is, a tall hallway. I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused. <laughs> a tall way. Yes. Tall yeah. way. I mean, so obviously you come from the most opulent ship on the seas, having these lavish twenty-foot tall hallways, so that Lieutenant Handsome and his chin can make it through without hurting anybody. Aye, and his swollen ego. Aye. I just want to say, no, I thought that was not the ghost beside him. I thought he just had a jacked third arm. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 that'd be my calligraphy <laughs> arm. I got caught up there in other parts of the drawing, and then I, just, and then I was like, oh, yes, I never finished a ghost. All right. I, well, what is a ghost but an unfinished third arm? arm? That's what my mother always told me. Hey. Every day. The gesture the ghost? Of, you gesture the ghost to follow you and say, We must find a boat and get off this cursed island. Now, excuse me, isn't that making a judgment awfully fast? The guy just got there. He hasn't seen anything. It's already a cursed island. It could be a lovely island, island, you know? Sometimes the... I mean, that's just unfair. I I just got punched in the head. I'm not... I mean, there could be coconuts. There could be bananas. I'd be allergic to coconuts. could have some nice foliage and beautiful birds. It's just wrong. There could be a resort on the other side of the island. Oh. Judgmental AI. That's bad. Bad. Uh, Can we take points Lemon from v. It? Demon redeemed an entire new plot line, not just oh, a character no. concept. <laughs> That'd be worth triple channel points there, Milat. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to take this one. Ted is back and is pretty pissed that he has an army of shark people and he has a new form. This is, Also, this is Ted's island. But we'll see how that works. That'd be another 1,500 channel points. The ghost woman nods and you proceed down the hallway. After a few minutes... You reach the end of the hallway. Ha! I knew I'd you, find the end of the hallway. No, uh, uh, if there's one thing I know about hallways, they so always they end. Usually end. <laughs> the o- yeah, you open the door. Always. It's the ones that don't that you gotta watch. <laughs> That's the, the scary again. part! <laughs> you open the door to the left. The door opens to reveal a massive library with thousands of leather-bound books sitting on brass shelves that stretch from floor to ceiling. These books are written in a language you do not know. I not know how to read, so that makes sense. (laughs) I could be English. So, trying to save face, you say to your companion. (laughs) Do you know what language this is? 
You ask your companion. She looks around, sadly. <laughs> Aye, you numpty. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be English, you dummy. <laughs> uh, well, could uh, you read I it to me and point to the before. pictures? She looks around, sadly. No, I cannot read a word of it. You are about to close the door when you spot a book written in common tongue. Aye, that I can sit. <laughs> if it's a common tongue, it's been around for a long time, and I really I... don't want to go there. <laughs> yeah. oh, cuneiform. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this tongue becomes. I'm sorry, too much? I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm not I sure how far we can go here. Sitting no, on a shelf. No, we're on the internet. Far a book written in the common tongue, sitting on a shelf midway up the wall. You walk over to it and take it off the shelf. It is an island guide describing ah. the various islands in the southern oceans. You tuck it under your arm and close the door. The hallway continues past the library, turning left and right several times. Wow. <laughs> oh, man, this hallway. And, and if it turned back, we're in deep trouble. <laughs> Doubling back on itself constantly. Wow. Oh, my goodness. What, a, what an interesting place what we have. What an interesting and strange place we've discovered. Library what, I, Island is on it? the Archipelago of Oob. <laughs> Archipelago of Oob. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh that's Oob. I'm sorry, you've got to get the pronunciation right. Oob. 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 And I'm sorry, the word pronunciation is actually not really a word. <laughs> Let's try pronunciation next time. Pronunciation. Yes. That Aye, that'd be the way the pirates do it. We, we pronunciation the thing. Yay. <laughs> you stop dead in your tracks. We be going round in circles. You say. You start tapping on the walls, looking for a, ho a hollow sounds that might indicate a secret door. When you reach oh. the door you started at, you notice that it's made of a different type of wood than the others. Aye. You try the door. To your surprise, it opens easily. Oh. You are now in a kitchen. There is no one here. You close the door and head back to the hallway. The hallway continues to twist and turn. You reach another door, this one leading into a bedroom. Inside it, you find a man sleeping in a bed. Go back to the ah. kitchen. We'll make lunch and have some beer. Excellent. I, I, I know. I know. The plot initially said we need to find our captain, but it seems that that went overboard when we insulted the lieutenant. And now we're not a part of that ship anymore, <laughs> unless it was a mutiny, Jack. Unless it was a mutiny. Aye, a mutiny. Now wait lieutenant a minute, handsome. That scurvy Let's dog. Oh my goodness. You say, Captain, is that you? The man sits up and stares at you through one eye. It's the pirate, Captain Hermit Brass Buttons. <gasps> you recognize him from pictures you've seen in the mess hall. Who are you? <laughs> It'd be me, Flint, you dumbass. You explain that you're part of the crew of the ship and that you're looking for him. He tells you that he's been lost on the island of Uub for two weeks now, ever since his ship was destroyed in a storm. Wait, that's our ship. He's our oh, no, captain. No, he, he took another ship. He's got a fleet of ships, I think. He's like a grand captain. He's a super captain. Oh, mega captain. Mega captain. Hermit brass buttons. Hermit brass buttons. <laughs> that would be the admiral. The mega yeah. captain would be an admiral. No, hey, we, no, yeah, yeah, we no, no not in this. We, not not in this navy. No, no, no. 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 Pirate Sorry, Navy. pirate ship. Pi captain, pirate Navy. Grand captain, <laughs> mega captain, uber captain. <laughs> uber captain. Can, can we look it's not an admiral. No. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Very, not, very got, different. got nothing thing. to do with an actual hierarchy as a co no, opposed no, to it. No. Oh, yeah. Just no, put I'm, another name in front of it. It gets better. I guess. You see, okay. admirals go over many ships. A grand captain goes over many pirate ships. It's a very different <laughs> thing. I would like I would like to look at Lieutenant Handsome or sorry, um oh. Hermit Brass Buttons and get an idea of what he looks like for Noah. If we could get a if we could type that in as our next episode. Excuse me, I feel like I've already gotten a pretty solid start here. Oh yeah, yeah. I you... mean discount Captain Crunch is great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it'd be old crunch. <laughs> you say <laughs> Lieutenant Handsome punched me, then threw me overboard. I'm here with a ghost who wants to meet you. Quick! We must get you out of here. That treacherous monster. Oh, shit. That's not me. <laughs> you Captain, really your voice changed all, all of a sudden. You, you <laughs> sick or something? That treacherous monster. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tear him apart. 
the two of you run down the hall. Run, Captain, you're very scary when you speak with such conviction. The sun is You bet your brother! I'll tell you something! The most feared pirate. I'm not gonna go back on this again, okay? The sun is setting. You people are being mean to me for no reason whatsoever! We only have two hours. <laughs> it's not too far away, and it might be as well. It may as well be a mile away from here. The three of you begin walking towards it, but then a group of four pirates cut becomes visible on a ridge above you. Oh no! Oh, the pirates of the island. What are you going to do, Jesse? Uh... <gasps> I love how, how dreary his eyes are. Yes. <laughs> Not a very chill captain. He's very... <laughs> he's got a long... What the size of that man's nose? He's got a long two weeks. I, for some reason, I've decided everyone's nose is going to be very large. That was a big <laughs> nose. Oh, I love him. You say, It's an ambush, Captain. Draw your cutlass and prepare for battle. Hermit draws his cutlass and shield and stands beside you. I have to say, it's been an honor serving with one of the legendary heroes of Davin! He says, as the four pirates reach the bottom of the ridge, they are led by Lieutenant Handsome, <gasps> his face still covered in boils. Not very handsome now, are we? <laughs> Wait, what happened? My god, his hygiene just went downhill since the last time we saw oh, him. Oh my goodness. So, is this maybe, Jack, the end of Act 1? I... <laughs> We've had, we've uh, had I'm about to say, I, it's a bit I, I of a guess. cliffhanger now that we've discovered who the antagonist is. Oh my goodness, Captain Handsome. Ah, Lieutenant Handsome is indeed covered in boils. He is, <laughs> also, sorry, he is also indeed covered in boils. He has Just handsome boils, according to Misa Life. Incredible. <laughs> Noah, stand. draw some handsome boils, would you? Oh boy, you know I, I will. The sexiest boils in all the seven Aye, seasons. the sexiest boils in the oob. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um... Uh, uh, Jesse, you're the one uh, running the story today. Um, I'm gonna put it I on am you. Oh shit! Yes, the impetus <laughs> is on you today to give us a quick summary of Act One while I edit the world info with some new notes that we have learned. Right. Well, I be Flint, and I be standing on the deck of our ship. <laughs> For the last few nights, a ghostly pirate woman been appearing to me, like some kind of Hamlet's father. I go up to her and talk to her, and she not be making one for conversation. But she take me to a longboat, and she put me in and cover me with a tarp. Then Lieutenant Handsome take the tarp off and demand to know what the hell is going on. I explain to him that I'm waiting for orders and don't pay any attention to this ghost. He pays attention to the ghost, and he punches me square in the face. I get sent overboard along with the ghost woman. We make our way to an island where I wake up, in a room, in a strange, circular hallways that seem to double back on each other. We find kitchens and, and other strange rooms, but then I find Captain Brass Buttons sleeping in a bed. I wake him up, and we make our escape. But it's an ambush. We're being ambushed by Lieutenant Handsome. Perhaps he wanted us to be on this island. Ooh. Excellent. I'm all ready to go. Uh, begin act two. Excellent. We fade in on this strange and mysterious island in the middle of Oob as our heroes emerge from the building and are immediately surrounded, ready to do battle with the handsome man covered in hideous boils. <laughs> or handsome boils. You know, that might be your thing. Handsome Boils is a great name. And Noah is doing a wonderful job of boiling that <laughs> handsome man's face. I'd be confused. I think the AI has turned it into a, a script. Sounds good to me. Ah, Hermit! I've been looking for you! It's over, <laughs> Crab! Surrender! Hermit draws his pistol and fires at Lieutenant Handsome, but he misses, and it hits a rock behind him. Lieutenant dodges to the side and sends a volley of, sh a volley of shots back at you. You feel a bullet graze your head, and you duck down. The two of you run away from the ridge and hide behind a cluster of rocks. Oh, 
So much for the drinking game. There hasn't been a ship all day. I know. I wanted to get this. It's like not fair. Yeah, I know, right? The first thing we did, get on an island. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm free drinking for nothing. Yeah, we got to get more points. <laughs> you know, we got to. The first one was on a technicality. It was a long ship. Damn. Also, I, Lieutenant Hanson said, Ah, oh, Hermit, I've been looking for you. It's over, crab. Surrender. <laughs> I, I would like to dive in a little deeper. He's got a lot of, <laughs> he's got a lot of wit there. He's got a lot. Of... It's over. I'm, I'm not crab. sure whether it's wit or just too many diseases running rampant in this part of the world. <laughs> oh, no. well, 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 if you've noticed, the captain's name is Hermit yes. Brass Buttons. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be and a real what crabby it? fella. You say... We're outnumbered, Captain. We need a new strategy. Let's run into the coconut tree forest and find some big rocks to throw at Lieutenant. You're right! Hermit to the rocks! Says, <laughs> the two of you run toward the coconut tree forest. A volley of shots <laughs> ring out from the bridge, and several of them hit Hermit in the back of his shell. <gasps> he slows down and falls to the ground. <laughs> So wait, he's actually a crab? <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait a second. I'm or sorry. Maybe he's I'm just wearing like a chitinous kind of armor, you know? Going back to this good old guy, and we're just going to make some changes. Leave me! <laughs> Save yourself! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you see a man sleeping. But the rest of his crab form is hidden beneath some blankets. Okay. We, we've been so distracted, we haven't noticed up till now that he's indeed. <laughs> well, no, you knew you recognized crab! his picture. You recognized his picture. So this is new, this is old well, news yeah, to you. This isn't new information to you. We just <laughs> it's not worth mentioning, I guess. Uh, I he be a crab man. <laughs> oh God. Leave me uh, save yourself. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Captain. <laughs> we can make it. Leave me. He groans. Save yourself. Oh, Captain, that'd be embarrassing even for you. Play a nice dirge for him. <laughs> it's been a long while Skipping along the beach My lovely crabby form Is running down the beach I love to say I'll come back to you someday. My captain begins to sing a lovely dirge. But my hermit self Move to tears, won't throw you say. my shell away. A good pirate never abandons his captain, even if that captain is secretly a crab. Now come on, let's scuttle. Get up. You grunt as you help hermit up. You try to run, but another volley shot his hermit in the side of his face. His eye pops out and lands at your feet, oh! squirming like an earthworm. Oh my god! <laughs> hermit screams. He blind! Hermit flails around, screaming at the sky, blood pouring from his empty eye socket. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Christ. Oh my god. That's what, we're not live. doing visuals? <laughs> oh my god. You guys are oh. no fun at all. Brass buttons, no, no. no. I'm just, I'm sad about brass, brass buttons. Brass button. Oh. This is, this is expertly mimed by Jamie. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Please, no, keep That's going. That's partially why I'm having so much pathos right now. I'm just I'm feeling <laughs> so, it. I'm feeling yeah. it from your face. I'm really I, overcome. I, I do illustrations so that we can see, but with Jamie's work, I, I don't feel I think you're going to take a break, man. Take yeah. it off. It all works off. together to so just coalesce. <laughs> You take off your eye patch and give it to the captain. There you go, Captain. <laughs> you see? You pull off your eye patch and hand it to the captain. He puts it in the empty eye socket. It's a perfect fit. <laughs> ah! Much better! Says Herman says. Now that I can... Vegan! Let's get out of here! Right, so on. the eye patch helps us see, I guess. <laughs> no, no, eye patch is very <laughs> You helped Hermit, you gained two points. It's the stupidest thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> 
I like it going around his head to put the eye stock. <laughs> It'd be my eye patch of true sight that I gave to him. I the eye patch of true sight. <laughs> Ah, uh, Hermit, no! So, he would have to constantly be pressing. <laughs> <laughs> one hand constantly. His one eyes just off. always pushing his eyes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Ah, it is the only way. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta stunts the bleeding somehow. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. You grab the captain by the claw and drag him with you to the coconut tree forest. You look for a big rock to fashion into weapons. You run through the forest looking for rocks. You see a big one and try to lift it. It's too heavy for you to lift by yourself. Help! You say. Captain Hermit comes running over to you. The two of you lift the rock above your heads. You s and stare at Lieutenant Handsome, standing on top of the ridge. He looks down and runs away with his crew. <laughs> ah, you fucking coward. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Come on! I thought this <laughs> Lieutenant Handsome, you know, he gets by in his looks. He's not very smart. He can't, like, roll a rock up a hill. <laughs> What's he afraid of? <laughs> he's Guys, scared of your rock. stare. Come on, let's he's get real about this. Ground. He's got the weapons. <laughs> oh, he, we're half blind at the bottom of a pit. No, man, he, they got a big rock. I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't know about but have you guy. ever seen a hermit crab with just one eye? That's scary. <laughs> yeah, oh, boy, guys, I don't know who started this, but I'm out. <laughs> you chase Lieutenant Handsome as fast as you can. You and the hermit begin to chase Handsome. Hermit lumbers as his legs are shorter than yours. He's got he six of his <laughs> He trips over his claws a few times. You keep going as fast as you can. Come back here! You scream. After a minute or so of running, you reach the top of the hill. You stop for a second to get your bearings. You spot Handsome in the distance, running across the beach and towards his boat. Where I think seven. that's supposed to be, you look handsome in the distance. I mean, that's the way it should be for most people. Uh. <laughs> from afar? It's quite a yes, from afar. Well, that's what my mother told me. Oh, no. Smart oh, woman. No. Oh, boy. <laughs> sure you look handsome, Eric. At, at a distance. <laughs> <laughs> you lift the big rock and hurl it at Lieutenant Handsome. Wow. You lift the big rock and hurl it at Lieutenant he raises his shield. The rock hits his shield and stays there. Oh, but he doesn't look up to see. Shield. <laughs> <laughs> it's magnetic to rocks. Uh, let's head back down the hill. You say? Hermit <laughs> nods in agreement. The two of you go sliding down the hill on your butts. You land with a thud, but Hermit simply lands and continues running forward. Whee! He's faster that way. <laughs> Oh, could you jump on his back? Can you jump on his back? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I have a new visual that I need to be doing. Wait, apparently we were nice to Who's Handsome. To handsome? By throwing Points. a rock at him? Wait, yeah, we also, gave him a new visual. <laughs> God! <laughs> he caught the rock, but apparently didn't notice that you were the one who threw it. <laughs> it was like, all right, we, we took our chance. Let's get out of here. <laughs> there's, a, there's a rock. There's just a rock storm that seems to be coming in. <laughs> You jump on Captain Hermit's back so that he can carry you as you run to Lieutenant Handsome. Giddy up, Captain. You jump onto Hermit's back and he runs and he begins to run. You bounce up and down as he runs forward. After a minute or two of running, Hermit stops and you slide off his back. Why did you just stop? You ask. I can't go any further! Hermit says. You look ahead and see that the beach ends at the steep cliff. Beyond it is the vast open ocean. It'd be a dead end, Captain. But I can fly! <laughs> of course he can. <laughs> As all giant crabs can. <laughs> we store well jets of water to way. propel us forward through the air. I'm <laughs> just hoping, okay? I just. I, I, I've got <laughs> to fly at least there. once during all this. Yeah. <clears throat> Take out your spyglass and look at the open ocean for signs of the Lieutenant Handsome ship. Ah, uh, all I see is blackness. Oh, wait, wrong eye. Okay, there we go. <laughs> you look at the ocean and you see a flicker of movement. It's the tiniest flash of color in this monochrome world. 
but it's there. Uh, the narrator be getting a bit philosophical there. <laughs> <laughs> Yar, I have a lot of time to think in my box. <laughs> I see something. You say. Hermit lifts his own spyglass to his eye and looks where you're pointing. <laughs> Can we get them both looking through spyglasses, Noah? <laughs> There's a lot. Don't forget, Hermit still on. has my eye patch on. I, oh, I'm very aware. Yeah, between the two of them, they have two good eyes. That's not good enough. <laughs> no. I've been having. A they look through a single left pair eyes. of binoculars. They <laughs> share. <laughs> Hermit lifts his own spyglass to his eye and looks where he's and looks where you're pointing. He squints his eyes, and his mouth hangs open as he sees what's out there. That's him. That's Lieutenant Handsome. Where is he looking? What does he see? It still hasn't said a damn ship. <laughs> I want a drink. I, I want it. Where is it? Please just tell get us a point. We're at nine yeah, points. On, nine points, everyone. Five points. Nine. We need double drinking if we do really well in this next line. It could be a double shot. <clears throat> you say. We've got to make a raft, Captain. Let's find some wood. Use your claws to cut it. Uh, shit, to cut it into pieces. And we'll lash them together with coconut fronds. <laughs> we need to find wood! Hey, that'd be my idea! <laughs> <laughs> my claws are better suited for combat! You'll have to find the materials! You're not. You're, you're the one who got shot into combat. <laughs> got no eye! Ah, I've lost everything! Captain. <laughs> yeah, it's at this point that Flint realizes Captain's delegate. <laughs> I, this captain be dead weight, but hierarchy does mean butter. something, you bastards! <laughs> you head off to the jungle looking for materials. You pass trees covered in long, sharp thorns and plants with thick metal stalks. You spy a log that looks like it might be good Did for you say climbing. Metal? Meaty stalks. Meaty, Thank meaty you. stalks. Those stalks are very meaty. They're certainly not made of steel. You pass over all these. The, the you pass all these up, looking for the right materials. <laughs> Thanks, AI. <laughs> meaty stalks. <laughs> you find meaty stalks and plants. <laughs> it took, it took it it's energy. sort of better than energy. melty stalk. You, you look at a th log and you go, you know what, that one you could climb. Not that one, though. It's you hack at the wood. Too meaty, yeah. And split it into several planks that tie together. You lash several long, thin vines around the log to serve as seats. You continue at working, adding more logs and vines until you have a serviceable raft. You finish your raft just as the others arrive. Wait, what? Oh. I've brought everyone else! Primus says, oh. standing with his acolytes. Are we leaving? Hey, I love your hey. band, but uh, this would be the wrong story for you. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Is that a reset? That'd be a I reset. Think it sure is. <laughs> Everybody, right, right, right. down the hatch. Hey, cheers. And it's all for me, Grog. <laughs> me jolly, jolly, Grog. All for me beer and tobacco. <sighs> you drag it down the edge of the water, ready to load the captain aboard. You set it down and drag it into the water. The waves lap at the wood, and you look out at them. You see, a sleek ship appears on the horizon. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cheers, yes. buddy. Oh, jeez, that smarts. Why did I buy Kraken? <laughs> it's disgusting. It a long time ago. <laughs> oh, it's Lieutenant Handsome ship. The, s the Storm 2. The Storm again. The first like storm was more like a tropical depression. It wasn't that bad, so it's, it's okay. <laughs> you look at it in horror as it rapidly approaches you. Wait, it appears on the horizon and rapidly approaches. I assume we're on It'd the be raft a very, now. Yeah, the horizon's <laughs> no. not that far away. That's a really fast ship. It's, right. it's the force perspective that makes it look farther away. Than it is. You say, aye, Captain. We aye, that'd be my line. <laughs> you say... <laughs> Aye, Captain. We be drinking too much grog. We forgot to build cannons. We'll have to ram the storm too and try and sink her. We'll never sink her! She's a first rate ship of the line, armed with cannons that could sink a castle! Ah, uh, that one, cannons. that don't quite make sense, Captain, but I, I, I know what you meant. <laughs> hey! I'm reading what they give me! Oh, what is what is, It's all scary as far as I'm concerned. 
I, I kind of want to crawl back in my shell and just leave this world to you people. I guess if the castle had pontoons, that, that <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> It's the, the castle on the quarters. hanging spire island. <laughs> right. A single uh, small. <laughs> or, uh, yeah, I, I guess. A single the, point. The cannons cause an earthquake and the earth swallows. Anyway. Uh, so we'll ram her. You say. The ship won't survive! We'll launch it into there with all the men aboard. We'll abandon ship before we get within range of their cannons. Captain Hermit nods. A good plan! I like it! Is oh. it, J Jack, is yes. that a good end to act? That's a too? great end to act. <laughs> we be going on a suicide mission. <laughs> Been nice to you, ship God. of the line with our tiny raft. Come aboard, and dead. <laughs> take it back. Take back the storm too for Captain Aye, Bryce. The storm. <laughs> the storm too. <laughs> the storm again. Reckoning. So the um, restorming. <laughs> restorming. Delightful. Uh, uh, Eric, that means it falls on you to give us a recap. On Act Two, where yeah, I update so some info. Sometimes life gives you lemons, but you find a way to make lemonade. As you're stranded with your captain, seeing the mutineers come aboard, come aboard the island and running towards you, they'll fire bullets, and your captain will be hit. But in the true pirate way, you'll make on together, share eye patches, and make a bond that will end the test of the seven seas. You run to the coconut forest and trick the stupid captain, handsome who doesn't realize rocks can't roll up hills. But you'll take that rock, and you'll go up that hill that he's run down, and then you'll throw it at him, and it'll do nothing. He'll kind of take it as a gift. But it'll be something you've done, and no one could take that, and you'll surf a crab down a hill, and you'll go build a raft, and then you'll ram that ship of the line, and you will get that pox-marked Captain Hans is Lieutenant Handsome, and you'll say, no, Handsome, not today. Beautiful. It was a beautiful story. I'm not sure which story it was, but it's beautiful. <laughs> a, it's Very a, exciting. It's every story. I'm sorry. Where's the band? Some I came for the, the band. You know, oh, some say right. it's the greatest story ever told. But uh, hey, Jack, if if we be wanting more stories like this, where might one spend their pirate booty? Sorry, this one went over my head. Where's Why, there's a jar below Shill. the tip, which is for, uh, why for booty. If you like what we do here, <laughs> thou shalt place it, thine booty upon our tip jar. Shakespearean pirates. <laughs> uh, uh, if you like what we do here and you're enjoying the show so far, feel free to subscribe. We love it when you do. When the money comes to us, the goes to make the show better, such as giving Noah a uh, new microphone and a webcam so we can <laughs> see his expressions as we play through the exciting adventure. Um, a gentle reminder that, of course, if you have Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch to get Twitch Prime. This entitles you to one free subscription a month. We'd love it if you gave it to us here. I'm switching to piano so you know I'm in chill mode. <laughs> If you're watching us on on uh, Instagram or wow, YouTube, shilling for shill, that's really good. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe. We love it when you do; it makes us very happy and warm and fuzzy inside. And if you're watching us on Instagram, also give us a follow. For whatever reason, Daniela has made this into a clip. Uh, we have a tip jar down below. You can scroll on down there and toss us some money. Also allows you to toss just a weird, dumb message into the show that will just be displayed for all to see. No matter how much money you put in, your message will be visible, and all of that money, once again, goes towards making the show better. I have Prime. I'll just use it to so Oh, wait, never mind. That is a lovely quote, a pull quote, a box quote, if you will, from Virtual Muffin, who has been subscribed for like four months now. <laughs> Arr. Sure my friend. Arr. We raise Did a glass to anything? Is there anything that I missed? Oh, God. Noah, what have you done? Uh... <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no one is meant to see Admiral, our uh, captain. That close. There we go. Oh. Ne'er shall ye see me face. <laughs> Excellent. Furthermore, if you um, also want to join our, our community and, and partake in our weekly discussions of the show as they come up and, and get any announcements of any shows coming forward, if you type exclamation mark Discord into the chat, you'll get a link into our personal, private, personal, lovely Discord channel where all of us hang out, share dumb jokes, memes, clips from the show, and let you know when we are going live, who our guest is, as well as the genre for this week. Take your suggestions there, as well as here in the show. And without further ado, are we ready to just dive back into our final act? I let be doing it. Before we do, Jamie, I have a question of you. Uh, yes, sir. As a special guest, it is your responsibility, nay, your duty, to name 
this uh, thrilling adventure. Uh, so please do so with a plume. I'm sorry, this is Hermit's Run <laughs> to the Admiralty. I dis disagree with you guys. It, it, he's running for the Admiralty. That's it. That's it. That's what it's so called. Just it's Hermit's Her Run. It's got Hermit's nothing run, to do yeah. with the protagonist or anything God. else. It's all Hermit's about run. Hermit. He's I don't think left. the captain even knows he's, me. He's name. left because you're only allowed to be 30 on this ship. And he's 29. So he's jumped overboard to get to the island. That's, ah, no, he knows he's going for Admiral. That, although, it could be the ghost that ran away. That, uh, that's a good oh. one, too. Oh, yeah, we need, to, we need to bring that ghost back in this final act. So because the ghost just disappeared after the first act. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think the Mind ghost Mind you, I still like the, the band, crime. too. The band is a really good idea. Which band is this? Oh, the band of survivors that, that, that showed another... up in the middle of their oh, like like, like the, 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 the the leftover castaways on Survivor. Oh, they just showed up going, Hey, wait a second, we want money too <laughs> you know? Classic band members. Ah. Without further ado. No no, so it's in. Hermit goes for oh, the yeah. Admiralty. Oh, Hermit goes. goes. I thought yes. it was run for, run for the Hermit, Hermit Oh, run. For sorry. The... I'm sorry. Oh, I, oh, I misspoke. Make up your mind, Jamie. Hermit Oh, I've made up my mind. I just can't remember what I made up. That's the problem. It's actually very confusing. It was originally published under two names because of a slight miscommunication. <laughs> and so <laughs> this is actually a really post, common yeah. debate when, when Hermits run for the Admiralty or Herm Hermit goes for the Hermit. Yeah. Actually, um, what it was is uh, the English market that did some stress tests before it came to the U.S. Oh, and they determined right. that Americans just don't understand what the word run means. Hey! Yeah, well, that's true, yep. too. Yeah, because in the English market... And, of course, the English version is much more expensive than the American, American version, yeah, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Lasts yeah. ten times longer and t doesn't all of a sudden turn around and say, No, you're wrong! <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, where, where do oh sh where do we start? You say holy Christ! <laughs> Sorry, uh, I don't know. I, who cares anymore? Where are we? All right. After the captain nods and says good. Says plan. you grab the keel and haul. All right, beginning of Act Three. You grab the keel and haul the raft pitches and yaws and rams the side of the storm too. A horrible creaking sound erupts from the planks of the ship. The men cheer as you launch it. You look back at the starfish, wondering if you should board or not. The storm, too, manages to turn away from you. Hell but she, the starfish. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So apparently, wait. so oh, if we remember, the starfish, the starfish ship from was the, the original ship. Yes. So, so we're in a flotilla. <laughs> we're, we're attacking. Hold on. We're attacking. We're on a tiny raft, crashed into the storm too, and then the crew from the original ship sees are like, "Yay, like, good job!" <laughs> right. So, so that's our captain. All isn't lost. The, 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 the starfish right, loves Captain Ad Admiral. Oh, Captain. Yes. Okay. yes, go, yes. go, brass buttons. Um, you look back to the starfish, wondering if you should board or not. The storm two manages to turn away from you, but you've damaged their hull severely. You oh. need to act quickly in order to ram it again. The crew gathers around you, cheering and whooping as a circle uh, in a circle as you launch the raft at the storm two for the last time. Uh, we introduce the starfish. Is this a drink? That's a drink. Ah, oh, for me drunk. Me jolly jolly grog. Oh, for me beer and tobacco. For a spent whole meeting with the ladies drinking gin. A uh, technical question for those in the, in the show right now. Has the music been any more stable than usual, or has it actually not been? I haven't noticed any time of no music. Hey! There's been no major times, no. Small okay. hiccups, but that's no good. Major. That'll be internet stuff then. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I do love those strings, Jack. Oh, the strings are fantastic. Thank you. These are really nice. This is actually string and woodwinds together. Uh, I did this so that I could do this with the piccolo, but it's really, really high. But uh, I haven't done anything with it yet. It has been sounding, really... it, it has been a veritable. Pirate orchestra. And I've been uh, loving veritable it. pirate orchestra. I haven't used the accordion yet. I should. I'm gonna bust oh. that one out uh, when the, when we are in a moment of celebration. Are we supposed to be drinking too? Yes, M4. Absolutely. Well, only if you want to and are of age in your country. We don't <laughs> we don't right. endorse underage drinking, nor do we think we should be pressured to drink. This has um, been a public. We be ethical pirates. <laughs> we are. Yes. That'll pay the laws, would it? 
comes to things such as drinking ages. Uh, we obey the laws of morality. Um, the pirate code. To the pirate code. <laughs> In the eyes of God. There we go. Uh, as the raft begins to race towards the storm, too, a rope swings down from the starfish. You grab the rope, and Captain Hermit and the two of you heroically swing to the safety of the starfish's main deck as the raft smashes into the storm, too. The storm, too, is damaged, and the pirates cheer. You pull your pistol from its holster and fire a shot at Lieutenant Handsome, hitting him in the chest and killing him. <gasps> Whoa! Jesus! Crack Help! shot! Quickly! Turn her around! <laughs> Captain Hermit yells as he looks over the side of the starfish. A massive jagged rock is growing in the distance. Oh no! Brace yourselves! The captain yells. This is going to hurt! This is exciting. I enjoy this. This is actually a thrilling pirate adventure. I I, I, I know I put it in the log now, line. I was like, this who's the other person? Thrilling. Have I lost somebody? Uh, wait, what? What uh, other person? Wait, what? What other person? There's a new person in the Zoom call. No, <laughs> it this? just says, you grab the rope and Captain Hermit and the two of you heroically... Oh, I no, you, and Captain, you and Captain Hermit, Hermit are two. Me, yeah, I'm Flint. just slow. The protagonist. Flint and another strange third I man. I don't like you. Jonathan. Oh. Captain I like Hermit. Hermit. Hermit's fun. <laughs> Jamie, w with all due respect, could you yes, very sir. slightly lower the gain on your microphone? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll just sit every back time, again. Every time, every time I'm like, can, can we have a moment? And every time I'm like, hold on a second. Eric uh, goes, ah, oh, this must be the end of the act. And I'm like, yes, okay. But every time I've been like, Jamie, Jamie please. My ears, they're bleeding. Captain Harmon is too enthused. I love him. I'm called. It's called a theater voice. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I forget. I I'm him. only in a small room, not a huge stage. It's okay. We've been swept away in the magic and the majesty. We, we, we have a new. We have a new. Uh, we have a new character. The helmsman. <gasps> Hard to starboard. You yell to the helmsman. The starfish leaps forward and narrowly misses you, misses the jagged rock. The storm too smashes against the rock. Pieces of water sent flying in all directions as the ship explodes. Where are we? Uh, hold on, Captain Hermit yells. Hold on. Ship explodes. C Captain Hermit, you have a Oh, line. there we go. Ah. Hold on! Thank you. Captain Hermit yells as the starfish flies under the rock. The helmsman loses control of the rudder, mm. and the ship's path takes an erratic turn. The hull smashes against the rock. This time, the starboard side snaps in half. Oh my no. god, we're falling apart! I'm sorry, you said there was a new character and I got lost for a second. Sorry, I said new character because I saw Helmsman. I thought he might yes. say something. We got very excited to say anything. I'm sorry, I, I misled come. you. Wait, Jeez, how you, dare you? you? You led me down a garden path that I wasn't prepared for. <laughs> I'm, I'm still with my blueberries from this morning. Ah. <laughs> Tell us about those blueberries. Are they oh, they're sweet? lovely pear. Are they succulent? Oh. Succulent in ways that you will never know. Ah, I can know quite a I'm bit. I'm sorry, that was very bad, <laughs> bad, bad joke. You grab the, t the sails and leap across the deck, pulling the main mast just in time to avoid crashing the rest of the ship. You leap and grab the sail. As you do so, the mast splits in two, ripping the sail in half. The sail and mask fold over the deck as the ship continues to turn. You pull yourself back on board and look around. The ship is almost half split in half. Water rushes into the long gash in the planks of wood. Captain Hermit sputters from the water, climbing aboard with his crab claw hands and pulling himself onto the deck. Judge Bot, you <gasps> saved the ship. You gained Ooh, 10 points. Gained 10 points. Oh, all right, everybody. You know what that means. Er, er, er. Er, er. Let us drink in celebration. Thank you very but much. But of course, I... we didn't save the ship because it's fucking crazy. It, it has been split in half. <laughs> I was just say, have we ever gotten 19 points before? We have. Well, we did. We have gotten. <laughs> We've gotten got like points 50 in one. or something. We got We've like definitely gotten up to 50, but not in a very long yeah. time. Oh, really? Yeah, they changed the way this works. It was not here for the 50. Ah.
You say? Captain, the ship is damaged. What are your orders? Captain Hermit looks at you and sighs. Blast it, scallywags! He says. They've turned tail and are sailing away! He stands up and pulls a large red sure cloth they crashed from too, you. Captain. <laughs> no, they've turned away. Uh, they're That's what he calls dying. <laughs> <laughs> he stands up and pulls the large red cloth from inside his coat. He ties it to the end of the cutlass he holds in the air. Scallywags! Turn about or I'll flash you all with this cutlass! Oh. Captain Hermit says... It's kind of a really, really not a good threat from that distance, you know. It's <laughs> I'll just, blind you. It's, oh, it's, you're not going to see spots like a, for days, you will. I'm starting, oh. to, get, I'm starting to get Oh, the I'm going to give you age spots. <laughs> I'm starting to get the impression that he's not really a good captain. That maybe they were just intimidated by the giant crab. <laughs> said, I'm the captain now, and they were like, oh, okay, yeah, okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, well, well. I do that. Lieutenant, uh, I don't oh, know, a little, handsome, little, the little, handsome yeah. one. A little bit of animated, uh, you know, like kind of repression on their part. It's like, okay, whoa. Well, uh, yeah. uh, sure, I guess. <laughs> I got Gotta you. follow someone, I guess. You know. <laughs> Up till then, they just kept, like, trading it around. <laughs> I don't know, you'd we be the live. captain this week. <laughs> we live in an autonomous commune. <laughs> He's oppressing us. <laughs> Blasted scallywag. Uh, turns us the other way. He stands up. Um, Captain Hermit says, Captain Hermit, 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 Captain Hermit stands on the ruined deck of the ship, yelling at the blank water and slowly sinking wreck of the storm, too. He realizes now that the captain has lost his little crab mind. <laughs> this can only mean one thing mutiny. You pull the pin on a black powder grenade. And your brow. Captain, I think you'd better start praying to Yagni. You see? Because he's the only one who can help you now. The rest of the crew who draws their weapons, and with mutinous grins on their faces, surround Captain Hermit on all sides. Gentlemen! <laughs> I have been through worse! <laughs> the captain. <laughs> Jesse, can I ask, how much of that did you actually type? I wrote <laughs> up to mutiny, and then it did That's the rest. amazing. Oh I'm Googling Yagni. That's <laughs> no, amazing. Yagni, originally acronym that stands for, you aren't going to need it. <laughs> <laughs> you better start praying, because you aren't going to need it. Captain Hermit is silent. <laughs> oh, wait. Um, oh, you say. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, the, when? You ask. Captain Hermit is silent. This is followed by a massive explosion Whoa! as the first cannonball tears through the captain's wooden chest. <laughs> the rest of the crew. Wait. <laughs> Go back, Noah. You gotta draw it now. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the crew pulls their triggers, each unleashing a deadly barrage of bullets into the captain brass button's frail body. <laughs> the captain's last moments are spent slumped against the mast, his torso riddled with bullets and splinters of wood. <laughs> Jesus. It was my favorite character. We, <laughs> why did he we lost his damn mind. It? It's a hard life as a pirate, Jack. He can get attached to no man or crab. <laughs> or crab this is man. Sad. Half or crab This is really crab sad. Crab. I'm actually very upset by this. Oh my god. This is the way of the sea. I'm sorry, but mel mental illnesses are not something we should trifle with. Hmm. 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 Moment of silence for C B. Uh, hold on one moment while I get out the old French horn here. You lower your pistol, tasting the... Oh, oh, it's going long. Uh, all right. Oh, that's really going. I'm undoing right. it because it was going somewhere I didn't oh. want it to go. All oh, right, well, okay. drink it up. 
Uh, oh. A drink for Captain Brass Buttons. Yes. A drink for the captain. You lower your pistol, tasting the bitter smoke from the gunpowder as it wafts through the air. Fair sailing, Captain. You say. You turn to face the cruel. I can't believe he's dead. Wow. Is, that one hit me. <laughs> this, is the got me. this is the first side character death that I've genuinely felt for. <laughs> A shiver passes through you. He didn't, he didn't deserve it. Oh. You look to see the ghostly woman from before. She stands at the broken edge of the hole and gives you a slow nod. She turns and disappears over the side of the ship. You realize in horror that her name was taken down into the ship's log when she died aboard the ship. All right. Hermit, Captain Hermit, calls out for her in vain. I thought I killed you. But it's gone, but she is gone. The captain collapses to his knees and sobs. Days pass. And you <clears> press <throat> on with your journey to Findlay, the nearest settlement on the island of Favris, from which you can find transportation. Can we read off this cursed island? What the hell are we talking about? <laughs> that's, that's not very good. <laughs> All right, that we, didn't we really happen. We really went for it, but that really Take a drink on. and forget it. I for <laughs> drink to forget, everyone. <clears throat> that's a great saying. Can we keep that, Jack? Drink to forget. Yeah, I'm, that's 100% what it's going to be. I think that's brilliant. Wow. <laughs> so sad. Um, you you look behind and see that the ship... Um, where are we? Where do we start from? A shiver passes through you. You look up to see the ghostly woman from before. She stands at the broken edge of the hole that gives you a slow nod. You look behind you. And see that the ship has already sunk. You grab the nearest rope as a wave crashes over you. The woman swims towards you, her long hair billowing behind her. I knew you could do it, she says. You stare into her sad eyes for a moment before replying. We did it. We killed the captain. She nods. But wasn't there another way? You ask. She shrugs, helplessly. Oh. Ah. The pathos is real in this plot. So we were always destined to kill the captain? Is that what we've, is Maybe. That what we've determined? Perhaps we're all destined to do all That's the where things we're we do, Jack. Ah. I think it's wrong! Ah. Oh. It's wrong in so many ways! Who are you talking to? <laughs> it's all those blueberries catching up with us. <laughs> it's calling to the blueberries. Uh, a massive <laughs> wave hits, carrying you away from her. You reach out, your hand toward her. But she just smiles sadly. And Oh, I, I skipped, didn't I? She shrugs yes. helplessly. You have a line. I'm, I'm trying to find out where we are. He moved right at the bottom. The she shrugs helplessly. Ah, thank you. He was a pirate. A massive wave hits, carrying you away from her. You reach out your hand towards her, but she just smiles sadly and shakes her head. I'm sorry, she says. Before the sea swallows her. The end. Wow. Oh, Whoa. man. <laughs> what we a, did it. That's a heavy story. What in the world? Wow. Look, my, my heart can't take this kind of stuff, guys. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> let's, let's have a lovely, light, fun adventure. Whoa. No, we'll this Jamie be payback on. for all could, the Can somebody hand me a couple of aspirins? I got to thin this stuff out here. <laughs> oh, my Jesus. 
Oh, Christ. Christ almighty. Wow. I'm not going to lie. That was actually a beautiful, strange, and twisting tale. Yeah. Here's my fan theory. Revenge, Here's my yeah. fan theory. Um, <laughs> her fan she's theory, like though. a cursed ghost, and she was forcing me to kill the captain. Uh, she had we a know, grudge yeah. against him or something. Yeah, I, I can wanted, buy that. And, we, and she was at one point on the ship, and she died there, right? <clears throat> oh, and maybe yeah. he neglected to bring her to port or, or whatever. Something. Maybe. And her he didn't give her a proper burial, and so she's was, like yeah. swearing vengeance. Yeah. But what is with the Mister Handsome dude there sticking his nose in there in the middle thing? So I think when the captain greedy. ran off, he, he was her husband. Ghost. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's even better. Oh, now you're twisting stuff here. Now we're talking really oh, good gas. soap opera of the day stuff here. I'm, well, I'm, well, getting, maybe, I'm into this. Maybe the captain ran away, right? Because because the, the ghost was trying to kill him, right? And that's uh, why he's on the island. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And and if and if it was Captain Handsome's wife that that is trying to kill him, then Captain Handsome takes that as the ability to take the ship, right? And not find the captain again. He's just gonna let him go off. Um, wow. I mean, it was sad, but I gotta tell you, that was some good tragedy. I think that was. Yeah, that was, that was very. I awesome. enjoyed that thoroughly. I, I, I want to say, I think I've hit one of my favorite drawing, two of my Ooh. favorite drawings that I've ever done. Ooh, that's a good one. Show. Let's see. Not for show the us. fact that, not for the fact that I think they're the best well made, but it's it's just of of pure feeling. One is. That's a good one. And I feel I feel for him so uh. terribly. And a part of me wants to turn this into a full piece. Um, <laughs> Just the crap, Captain. And then tied I, to a mast. And then I would say, nope, not that one. Ah, there. <laughs> yeah, that's a fun one. <laughs> <laughs> old Captain Crunchy. <laughs> oh, oh, the old Captain. Jamie, we've reached the end of the show. Um, which Jack, means... can, I, can I make a comment before we before oh, we go please. on? Oh, yeah. Um, I, I, you told me before the show, but we haven't mentioned it yet. We hit a, a stupendous a, mi landmark on a, your a, channel a today. A remarkable milestone, and I mentioned it in the chat. But we have just hit four thousand views in total, um, which is quite remarkable. Remarkable, and our four thousandth viewer was none other than Misa Life, who has been here since the very beginning. One of our and biggest fans. Reward. Our biggest fan. We're making a very special Misa Life uh, emote just for you, my friend. That is the none other than the, the, the puzzled Misa Life gnome that uh, Noah had done so, so long ago. <laughs> so now we'll have just a confused gnome for when the plot gets derailed just a little bit too far. We'll now have this lovely gnome of Misa Life to remember it by. <laughs> Thank you, Misa Life. You're always Thanks. here. It's terrific to have you. Ah. Um, Eric, why don't you lead us now uh, oh, and you as well, Clubman. Good to see you. Uh, why don't you lead us, Eric, in a, a lovely little postmortem? In the meantime, uh, chat, I am going to start asking the AI to begin generating the lyrics to a song for us today. Um, and if you have any song titles, I recommend that you now shout them out. Um, and if you don't get it to me in time, I will just be picking one that I like the best. <laughs> Take it away, Eric. The Life of Hermit! Well, Jamie, Jamie, we all like to, to 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 reflect on on the evenings we've had here and being yes. new. Yes. Um, I, I, you know, th this was a very meaningful story, as many of our stories tend to be on AI Dungeon. And I'd like to ask, what what did you learn today? I learned that losing an eye and going to sea makes you dead. That's what I have actually learned. Oh. It's deep and heartfelt for me. I understand where it's coming from, but salt in a wound is not good. Not good at all. No. Doesn't help at all. Sorry. No, I actually learned that this was actually quite fun. I enjoyed myself <laughs> amazingly. We'd like to get into the fact that uh, Storm 2 should have been my ship. It should really have should have been my ship. Mm. Well, they all should have I been mean, your ship, but oh, you of course, you were the ad you were the captain, Uber captain. So to if speak. if you were put in that position no. again, what would you have that. done differently, Captain Brass Buttons? Um, tell you the truth, I don't know. I don't know because I think what I was doing essentially was the right, right thing. thing. No regrets. The right oh, thing yes. for no regrets. everybody. Yeah. I have no regrets about what I did. Live by the I crab have regrets and die about by the crab. What other people did. 
that's what my regret yeah. is. I don't regret what I did. I regret the people that shot me. <laughs> yes. They shot me. I really do. I regret that very and if much. That, and if that's not a lesson <laughs> to everybody in the world, yeah. I don't know what else If I could is. change it's, one thing about what they, I did, it would be yeah. not to get shot. Shot. <laughs> And the fact that they tied me to the mast was actually quite lovely. Thank you very much. I yeah. did enjoy that to a certain extent. You enjoy being tied to masts. Oh yes. On occasion. We're, we're going to leave it at that. Okay. Jesse, did you did you learn anything today? I I learned that it's a damn rotten life as a pirate. Oh, it's a hard one. You sail the seas. Oh, the you seas sail it so be your mistress. But the seas oh. be an unforgiven mistress. A brutal mistress. And one day you make a wrong turn. You one trust the wrong person. One wrong person. And you find yourself shooting your own captain in the chest. Right in the chest. And then enjoying some delicious buttery crab's legs later that day. Oh, no. There's always a silver lining. There's always a silver lining. I also have to say, ghosts get really short shrift in this kind of show. I'm sorry, yeah. this is really wrong. Yeah, we, had we need nothing we need of the ghost at all. Have a bit more ghost representation next next mm, week. Yeah, I think greater so. ghost representation is actually very important in yeah. the media. We should we should pursue to that. All right. Well, we'll put it in the show notes. Jack, do we have the do we have the song yet? Uh, just about. I'm on to the uh, second <coughs> course leading before the bridge. All right. I can well, only I say what I learned from the yeah, show. Noah, yeah, Noah, what have you learned in this show? <laughs> Let's not forget that I'm here. It's true. <laughs> you are here, Noah. <laughs> and in some ways, you're the real talent here with your wonderful drawings. That's I, I love them. but okay. Yeah. Um, I want to say that what I learned from the show is I feel a lesson that everyone can take, be you a pirate or not. When you check someone when they are sleeping and you believe it's a man, please double check to make sure... As it may be a crab. If I had a nickel for every <laughs> no, time I, I made to... that mistake. You heard it here oh, first, oh, folks. Oh when you find someone sleeping in a bed, check for crabs. <laughs> <laughs> because right, there it that's is. a bad <laughs> next morning. Oh, boy, Yar. I tell you. <clears throat> Yar. <sighs> Man, All it's right. better to have the smaller ones than the bigger one, too. But that's another thing altogether. You know what? That's a matter of preference. I don't... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Like I said, for me, eh? Would you like a lot of small crabs or one big crab? No, one big one is good. That way I can see what's going on. <laughs> Jack, we need the song. Just get yeah, I got it, song. I got it, I got it. Yeah, we be scrambling. <laughs> All right, show be All right we be scrambling. Jack, we're going, to, we're going deep. The show be over. Good night, everybody. No. All right, the show will be done now. We all need to be singing. Jack, what's... what's... Uh, I've just pasted it here. Um, I really liked um, what Jamie gave me, so I have written in The Life of Hermit, and it seems to be a song about a hermit, <laughs> which I, I should have seen coming, to be honest, but it is a beautiful town, a beautiful tune about the life of, of a hermit living Where? off on his own. Uh, I added just now into the chat. No. Sorry, Jamie. And you're and it you're gonna have to go. Chat and you're I'm you're it killing me. So so you're gonna go get a code in the chat of Zoom, and you're gonna have to go back and say join world in AI dungeon. What? Like yeah. how you got into the initial game? Ah, oh, you people are killing me. We're just doing it another time. Should I uh, turn this piano down at all? A little uh, bit, Jack. Yeah, a little I have bit. No idea where. So uh, what I do every week is I, from uh, an audience prompt, or in this case, just me, because no one answered me and they're all rude. I love you. I'm kidding. Uh, I give the AI a song title and a genre. This week, uh, I've decided to go with a folk ballad. It can be a little bit sea shanty-esque. That uh, might be actually quite challenging over the internet, uh, but we will do our best. And then the AI generates full song lyrics for us that we then divvy up amongst ourselves. I so... Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm still lost, guys. Sorry. I, I see okay. the code. Good. So, so in, in AI Dungeon, right? Yeah, I'm there. Go, yeah. Yep. go out of the game that we have now. Go oh, back to the title you. screen. Okay. And then say join game join and game. put the code got it. in. Got it, got it, got Sorry. it. Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm slow. I told you. 
Told you right from the very beginning. You know what? It's a Friday we probably night. Planned for Where this. are we all going? Hey, we should have planned, but you see, we were keeping our instructions close to our chest. Oh, wait a sec. I there can't find the freaking code again. Before the show, <laughs> Jesse was like, I gotta find out a way to, to work this chest in. And that's that's the moment he picked. That'd be the best An I excellent got. One. To be honest, I forgot one. it was there for uh, most of the show. Oh. It was down on the floor. You can see it with your eye patch. Oh, it's on the other side, isn't it? This, this really does a number on your depth perception. <laughs> oh, for Christ's um, sake. Oh, yeah, no. I'm Are you there. okay, friend? Okay. Yeah, I'm you okay. I just got to gotta move things out of the way. It's all, all right. right. You might not be able to copy and paste, uh, unfortunately. No, I can't. You might have That's to. all right. Yeah. All right. Um, while we wait for him, shall we divvy up some of these words to people? All right. Hey, let's just do it. Who, who would like to sing our first verse? Got some great rhymes here. Let me read it. I'll take the first verse. Excellent. There uh, we go. I got her. Welcome, Jamie. Okay, Jesus Christ. Jamie, would you like the second verse, the bridge, or the chorus? Uh, whatever you would like for me, sir. Uh, let's give you the chorus. Why don't chorus? you lead us through okay. that chorus? That sounds fun. All right. Jesse, verse two or bridge? I be singing the bridge. Ooh, fun. Then I will take the second verse. I to the, the bridge. Two yeah. in a while. I to the bridge. To the bridge. Then to the Folk bridge. Ballad. All right. All right. So going through this one more time. Um, verse one is Eric. Chorus will be you, Jamie. Verse two will be me. Chorus will be you again, Jamie. Bridge will be um, Jesse. And then our final chorus, just lead us in there. We'll do some call and response. We'll make it lovely. Um, all of this text has been generated by the AI. So will it rhyme? No. Will it make sense? No. Will it scan? No. Will but we like it? <laughs> Maybe. <It's> debatable. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> um, all right. Let's let's try it out. I was born in the castle of the king You'd think I'd been raised with silver spoons But in the winter I was oftentimes cold And sometimes I'd eat porridge that had gone sort of old But I didn't mind it all that much no, not me, though me life on the road got sort of crazy. No one rely on my sweetie. She would stand by me. Take it away, Jamie. But the life of a hermit is a life for me. Where I can live life free from worldly strife Don't need no money, don't need religion What do I care about some man-made ideology? No need for mortal trappings like socializing Or dealing with the government I'm my own man, I'll decide my own fate. I was never one for ambition. Just let me be free to live wild and untamed. Why do I need a house to go home to? Why can't I just sleep in the woods like a bum? That's the shortest part of the world. <laughs> There's something else I can't be doing. While someone tells me what to believe in No, I'm gonna do what I want to do I'm a free spirit And I'll live my life my way My own way I don't care what you think I'm not what you're not. You can all go to hell. Including the bums and the beggars, yeah. Give me my freedom. 
or give me death. I'll never be tamed. Oh, I'll never be tamed by your silly convention. Why be so silly? Stupid conventions. I'm a free spirit. The spirit is free, and I'll live life more. Beautiful tool. It's my ode to Les Mis. Yeah, we'd get, be getting sued by Frank Sinatra, too, for uh, ripping off my way. <laughs> but I won't I tell him if you don't. won't. We pirated it. We pirated it. <laughs> it's no crime if they can't trace your IP address. <laughs> <laughs> a delight. Friends, thank you so much for joining me tonight. This has been a wonderful journey into the world of swashbuckling pirate adventures, ghosts, unexpected crabs. Is there any other kind? <laughs> well, as long as it's a big one, we're all fine. <laughs> Um, we end every single week by giving you a lovely little message, some sort of, I don't know, raison d'etre to bring on with you throughout the week before you meet us again back here next Friday. And um, we all know it so well. Oh, quick interruption. Fern Grits is now following. Hey. Kiss my grits. Thanks, Fern Grits. I hope that lovely tune is what eventually convinced you that <laughs> this <laughs> is the kind of content you want on the internet. I know it convinced me, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Let us, all together, one word at a time, construct for, for you, Fern Grits, just for you, the sentence. Yes, the tune tipped me over the edge. <laughs> it tipped all of us, let's be honest. <laughs> We'd all be very tipsy. Um, let's, let's write for him the, the motto of the week. Is everybody ready? Aye. The Aye. order goes uh, me, and then you, Jamie, then Eric, then Jesse, and then Noah, and then we will cycle back as we go. Jesse, J uh, Jamie, big thing, you're just always after me. I'm not going after this every time. It takes us 20 minutes to say it. It's the same speak. order every week. We never <laughs> And yet somehow I don't know it yet. <laughs> Let's do it. I'll begin with... Now... I've... Seen... All... I say my. I. Oh, can. I've seen all I can see. Oh, I've seen all that I. Um. Now it goes to you, Jamie. You said I. Sorry. Yes. Now, now I've that all, I've yes. seen all that I can want. Ooh. Oh yes. yes. Wait. Carry on. Now that I've seen. Now I've seen all I. Now that want. I've seen all that I want to. C. Uh, <laughs> I'm Bring us home, Noah. I'm sorry. I've gotten very confused because someone's <laughs> word got Im omitted. So, Noah, we're at now that I've seen all that I want to see. I know that. that. Oh, shit. Come on, Eric. We do this every <laughs> week. <laughs> I know that. Nothing matters. <laughs> Done. Are you happy, Jack? <laughs> Truly, couldn't Are you be happy better. that we did it? <laughs> now that I, I've seen the all pirates. that I want to see, I know nothing matters. <laughs> We're the nihilist pirates. <laughs> the nihilist. Good night, everybody. Ah, <laughs> sweet Lord. Razor Blades will be coming to you soon. I uh, hopefully we see you next week. Aye, <laughs> <laughs> right, good day, lads. Have a lovely night.